I believe that there is such a thing as inclusive capitalism and that capitalism does not inherently intensify inequity and exploitation. I've dedicated my career to this possibility and I see more and more signs every day that capitalism can transition um, through the kinds of partnerships and innovations that Parag referred to. In an ideal world, governments would be able to address the needs of the most vulnerable, but in many countries, they lack the resources or political will to do so. And inclusive businesses can often play a vital role in addressing those gaps. Capitalism doesn't inherently intensify inequity and exploitation, but people in a both business setting or government setting can and often do. Governments can create tax policies and bureaucratic requirements that actually penalize the poor can increase their own revenue while making it harder for low-income people to access critical goods and services. Inclusive capitalism, I think, can achieve things that government alone can't. And it represents an important shift away from purely profit-maximizing capitalism. We are seeing this every day. We're seeing businesses that are pushing and experimenting and trying to set new standards for the role that business can play in society. Markets and democratic institutions need to work together, but businesses and investors can do more than just follow the best practices. Uh, they can be the pioneers of new models. And we see the opportunity here in energy access, in food and agriculture, healthcare, and economic inclusion. It is not the norm today, but it is possible. We can make capitalism inclusive and we can make it a force for good in the world. And if we can, we must.